Happy news, my lovely, wonderful people. Igo Dalo declares, I don't have regret losing to APC, but I hope they can defend the victory and themselves in court because our evidences are piling up. So this is Igo Dalo. I say Igo Dalo, the People Democratic Party candidate who is speaking very clearly that what has happened on September 1st, declared on September uh, September 21st, declared on September 22nd that uh, Senator Mundi won is not a problem to him at all. In fact, he's not going to sit back there and mourn over, you know, broken eggs. You know, he said, so the truth is, he knows that he will get back his mandate. He's not afraid for his mandate because he knows exactly what he will get back. He said, so he hopes that PDP, you know, APC, can actually, you know, put together their evidences because he was not going to sit back there and allow the same thing over and over again. He's not going to sit back there. No, he wouldn't. He won't do that. He said he has enough evidences to to show to everybody that PDP actually won the election. He said the APC they are ready and they know what they are doing. So my people, these are part of the things that are going on as a result of election, you know, that took place, that Nigerians, many people are still questioning the integrity of the election. You know, so there's just a lot going on at the moment. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. I don't have regret losing to APC, but I hope they can defend themselves in court because our evidences are piling up. In what has become a dramatic turn of events following the Edo governorship election, the defendant, the defended, defeated candidate of the People Democratic Party, Igo Dalu, has refereed to accept the outcome of the polls, raising serious allegations of election malpractices despite his defeat to the All Progressive Congress. The APC, the APC candidate, Senator Monde Pobal, over a uh, margin of 21,000 plus votes. Igo Dalo has made it clear that he is far from accepting any declared result by INEC. For starters, INEC did not carry out a transparent process. It is clear the evidences are there for all to see. Igo Dalo con con consigns himself with all the evidences that APC can use to back up their claim that they won the election. Rather, he wants to make sure that he is not going to court without adequately proving his point. He said, for starters, what has happened, INEC has a big hand in the orchestration of all that has happened. And the security officers in charge of the election is like they were ready to come and manipulate. They did all they possibly can, and today here we are. I'm not afraid that they have declared somebody won or this person won. It's not a problem at all. At the end of the day, we will meet in court and the truth will be told. The People Democratic Party candidate claims that he holds no grudges against the president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. I heard what he said. He said we should meet in court. Yes, and prove our points and show with evidence that we won. I hold no grudge against the president who should uphold the law. A man who is supposed to, whose actions cl clearly exposes the unbelieving, compromising integrity of the election process. I hold no grudge against him. Speaking to journalists in, in Edo through Channel's television, Igo Dalu expressed deep dissatisfaction with, with INEC rule in the process. I don't have regret losing to APC, but I hope that they can defend themselves in court. He stated, his remark hits at a, at a legal battle on the horizon, with Igo Dalu seeming prepared to take the fight to the election tribunal. He claimed he has, he has the so, so, sufficient body of evidence, including data on over voting in 160 polling units and report that the, the, the uh, BVN was not used in most areas, a significant breach of the electoral process. In fact, such elections should be cancelled because it has not met to the election criteria. Perhaps the most explosive mm -hmm. of the allegation is that large sum of money, reportedly 60,000 per vote, we are, we are distributed to swing votes in favor of APC, his rival. According to Igo Dalo, him and his political agent tried to report these incidents in, at the INEC office, but we are denied entry, further fueling suspicion of insubordination. These controversies raises critical questions about Nigeria 
democratic process. If proven, Igodalo allegations suggest a systematic failure in both the electoral and security apparatus that were supposed to safeguard the electoral transparency. With the court case, leaning all eyes will be on the tribunal to see whether Igodalo can subsequently lay hold on his claim, whether INEC can be defeated in court. These are some of the very serious allegations piling. As the political atmosphere in Edo State remains tense, the, national, the nation watches closely. The stakes, the stakes are high, not just Igodalo and the People's Democratic Party, but for the credibility of Nigeria electoral system itself. Will the tribunal become a turning point for democracy in Nigeria, or will it further expose the, fra the, the fragile process of what we are experiencing today? These are serious questions that need immediate answers. So, my people, how do you see all of this playing out? How do you see it? Igor Lalo said, you know what? No fight. Oh. No fight whatsoever. Me, I'm not afraid to say, oh, the, he, 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 this person won. No, see, no lily. No fight at all. However, he should, be, he should be able to prove it in court. He should be able to come to court and prove that he won. That's my own. He won, Abby, and no problem. He should prove it. Because I cannot sit back here and continue to allow those who have not, you know, merited a particular uh, position to come to be the ones who wants to claim victory at the end of the day. So he said, I'm not afraid. No, 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 no. Not in a single minute. Afraid to say, oh, uh, you did not win the election, but you won. He said, no problem. No problem at all. He said, but they should have enough evidence oh, to really substantiate the fact that they won. Because the court process is inevitable. We are going to go there and we are going to prove to everyone that indeed we won because we are piling up evidences. It's, it's rising, okay? So it is what it is. Can you see what's going on in this country? These are very, very serious allegations that need, you know, urgent attention until we begin to, you know, rewrite some of these statements and focus on what really matters. I don't know how, how fast we are going to come off all of this and make, you know, this nation a better place. The days upon us are so critical. Everybody's watching and want to see how things play out. So my people, you can see for yourself that, you know, we cannot continue to just fold our arms, keep quiet and pretend that all is going well. You know, the evidences are piling or people are beginning to, you know, uh, look at it and wonder, you know, what the next line of action will be. Yes? So it is what it is. Okay? Anyway, my people, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? So this is what is happening. Don't forget to like or share, subscribe. God bless. Have a good day. Bye for now.